It is your boy Mistro here, and we are back. We are back here with more Yu-Gi-Oh content. I know, I know, it has been so long, so long since we have last talked. We've last had communication with each other, but ever since I got back, I've just been waiting for Konami to do something interesting with the game, and lo and behold, they have done nothing interesting at all with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. They haven't released a ban list. They haven't uh, really done anything. Flames of Destruction was an, an okay set, but uh, I didn't. There, there's nothing in there really appealing or like groundbreaking, so um, there's really nothing to talk about. Um, I guess Element Sabers are still like their 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 competitive uh, viableness is still up in the air, and Nightmares and uh, Gokies, you know, those those are definitely um, something you know to to scoff at, but um, it's. Uh, you know they they're they're not at full power yet. We uh, we still have to wait for the brandish support um, for for Goki Nightmare to to get the full power. So um, you know that that's when I'm gonna talk about the deck. You know if you, if you've been following uh, Mco40, you know he's definitely been talking about the deck a lot. And so you'll know. But um, today um, I ran into this post on Facebook um, about the collectors pack 2018, and um, you know for the OCG. And you, you might be wondering, hey Nistro, why should we care about an OCG set? Well, if you look at um, Battles of Legends uh, Relentless Revenge, um, it is the exact monsters. The same monsters on the cover of the Collector's Pack 2018 are on the Battles of Legends Relentless Revenge cover. So we can assume that every card in this set is going to be in the uh, Relentless uh, Revenge set. The only difference being uh, that the Collector's Pack 2018, it's it's only a 45 card set, and these are all new cards, versus Relentless Revenge is gonna be a 100 card set, and so it's gonna have a whole bunch of cards in it. And so it's gonna have half of what, so like the 45 cards from the Collector's Pack, maybe a few more OCG exclusives, depending on how Konami's feeling, but uh, for the most part, the other half of the set is gonna be reprints. So it's gonna be pretty much the, the 45 new cards and then the the reprints which are still up in the air which reprints they're going to make this year but hopefully they make some pretty good reprints so starting off um we have uh orgoth the relentless uh so once per turn you can roll a six-sided die three times and this card game's attack and defense equal to the total result times 100 until the end of your opponent's turn then if two of the results are the same apply the appropriate effect based on the result or if all the results are the same apply to all these effects um, one or two cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects until the end of your opponent's turn. Three or four, draw two cards. Five or six, discard can attack directly this turn. And so um, I was thinking about this card and uh, that six. And so that six pretty much um, lets you manipulate a dice roll and pretty much make it one. And pretty much if the dice roll is uh, odd, you know, you can treat it as six. And if the dice roll is even, you can treat it as one, right? So you have to roll a die three times, right? And if two of the results are the same, so if any of your results are a one or a six, you can manipulate one other result to also be a one or a six. And so in that uh, manner, um, you can have the one or two or five or six effect M easier than you can have th the, the three or four effect. So pretty much the three or four effect is based on luck entirely. And so there's really no other dice roll card that r lets you re-roll. Um, like there, like there, there's like there's a card that lets you re-roll, but you'd have to do the entire dice roll again. So you'd have to roll three more times, and so it really wouldn't be all that good. So it, it's just an okay card. The fact that it's not a quick effect is kind of the problem with this card. So if this card had a quick effect, it would be cool. But since it's only a uh, ignition effect, it's it's not really all that cool or whatever but nice looking card so now we have summon dice and so you pay 1000 life points roll a six sided die and then apply the result so one or two immediately after this effect resolves you can normal summon one monster so you get an extra normal summon three or four you can special summon a monster from your graveyard you get a, a mini monster reborn and five or six you special summon level five or higher monster from your hand if you're playing a lot of you know high level monsters so um, this is like it's an okay card. I guess you can play this in something like UA. I mean, if people even play that. I mean, I actually did think of a UA Sky Striker build. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see it, but you know, I can definitely show it to you if you guys want. 
Um, it, it, it's nothing special. It's, it's pretty much just Sky Strikers with, hey, you know, let me bring out a perfect ace, you know. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, but um, again, with the whole uh, that six thing, so you can make um, pretty much any, any result can turn into either a one or a six, right? And so the one and six effects are immediately after this effect resolve, you can double summon. So if you're looking for a spell card that gives you a double summon, I guess th this and that six wouldn't be a bad combo. This, the, the problem is you, you'd actually have to be playing that six, which is a problem in itself. Um, the three or four effect, I, I, you know, again, uh, it's funny how they also made a three or four effect for Orgoth the best effect because it's going to be the hardest to get the, theoretically, even if you're using that six. And then the five or six effect, especially level five or higher monster from your hand, which I, I think is the least wanted effect because if you're playing this card just to special level five higher monsters from your hand your deck is probably in inconsistent enough to to begin with so yeah i mean the second two the the, the first two effects are fine but you know i guess you, you wouldn't want the last effect unless your deck is focused around having a lot of high level monsters in hand so it, it's it's not the worst card but i don't think people are gonna are even gonna bother with it until they make the whole dice mechanic as a whole better uh, so Flying Elephant, I know this card definitely caused a lot of ruckus um, in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, um, pretty much, uh, because it's just a win condition. This, they just made win conditions even easier because the game has evolved to a point where cards like this just go under the radar because they aren't good. <laughs> if this was around during the first Yu-Gi-Oh, this card would be so game-breaking. It would be like Victory Dragon all over again, but even better. Um... So first time, first time this card be destroyed. My opponent's card effect each turn is not destroyed, and then once per turn during your opponent's end phase, if this effect was used this turn, apply the following effect during your next turn. Um, and then if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you win the duel. Um, it's not really the best card ever, honestly, but you know it, it just allows you to win the duel, pretty much. So if you attack directly and inflict battle damage, um, you pretty much just get to win. But I think. I think that by the way it's worded, your opponent would have to attempt to destroy it. And then, um, like your, your opponent has to attempt to destroy the card, and then during your next turn, you get to attack directly and win the duel, pretty much. So your opponent has to attempt to destroy it first. But I feel like that's a lot easier of a win condition than something like Exodia, where you have to like draw your, out your entire deck, or you know, like Magical Explosion FDK. It's definitely a lot more consistent, but I feel like this might be, you know, pe people figure out all, all sorts of stuff, you know, these days. So I'm sure there'll be something. 